Lift him up. Go. Raise him up. Touching you here. Lift him up. I'm touching you again. My brother, rise up. I heard you are giving up. It's true, man. Uh, you are giving up. You don't want to continue. Yes. Because nothing is working for you here. Yes, true. Lift him up. My brother, from now here, because you were asking yourself, you are no longer even dreaming. Yes, you used to dream true. a lot. Yes. I used to pray concerning your dreams. Yes, man. Eh? God, it's true. Eh? Now yes, you are man. becoming hopeless. Yes, it's so true. So your man. calling is restored here. In Jesus' name. You are free. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Franz uh, Matlou. I'm from Falvat, uh, Limpop. The Apostle located you today and he spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Yes, Apostle tell me that uh, I am about to give up and then uh, he prayed for me and then uh, said it's true and then that's, he said to me again I was uh, uh, seeing the vision so I'm no longer seeing the vision that is true so I'm happy that today uh, I've seen that uh, uh, men of God have prophesied me true things since uh, three, uh, three months back uh, I didn't see visions I was worried and then uh, even this morning when I come to church I was worried why my prayer was down and then uh, so that's all about uh, I can say and how has this affected you? It affected me a lot because even I've got a pain. I didn't even know that pain come from. And as I realized now, that pain is the pain of showing that my prayer was down. So that's why even now I'm healed. My right hand side was painful. And then this side, the whole... Uh, side of my was painful so today i'm happy because yes uh, uh you you have a serious problem because of the issue that happened to your father amen and it started to happen to you now amen you understand amen. the issue of failing to have a right wife it started to happen this is a curse of generation you hear me amen uh, so i will pray for you You'll be the one to break this case. Amen. You understand? Amen. Of a family. You break it. Amen. You understand? Uh, so that God will use you. You are free. Hey, look at that man. Look at that man. Before he reach here, something has happened. I want to pray for you, eh? But I want to pray for your womb. Amen. Yeah? I want to pray for your womb. Amen. I was at the hospital yesterday. Huh? They told me about that. I they was at the what? hospital. They said I have kidney in infection. In your womb. It's in your okay. womb. It's affecting everything. It's also affecting this man. Okay. So this man is losing affection. You are free. You can go. God bless you. Greetings, my name is Cheney Mwasa from Northern Cape. Here I'm with my husband, Musima Mwasa. Today during the service, the Apostle located you and ministered upon your lives. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Uh, that's very true. He has uh, um, located me. He said I have a um, own problem of which that's very true. Yesterday I was at the hospital. They have diagnosed that. Mm, they said I have a womb infection yesterday. And how has that affected you? Really bad. Very bad. Uh, I'm not happy at all. And then they said it also affected my husband. Mm. And so how do you feel that today the Apostle located you and ministered upon your lives? Uh, we knew by traveling, by me traveling, we also delivered today. And uh, we thank God for deliverance for today. I can confirm that she was complaining about the pains. And even yesterday we were in hospital. They did confirm that he's got an uh, infection. So we really thank God for the deliverance and uh, the grace upon the house. 
So we really thank God for that deliverance. And how would you encourage somebody who's currently watching this? Uh, come into this. It's a house of everyone who's lost, who need healing, who need deliverance. Come here. We travel from this morning from Northern Cape to here. So it's by faith. You must have faith when you travel. So have faith in when you travel. Already you already tap into your deliverance and your healing. Thank you. Hold your chest. Yeah. I can see the prophecy you've been given has not come to pass. You understand? So you are also crying even today. That's true. God, you are you are asking yourself, is it going to happen? Yeah, that's true. And you trusted the prophecy, but look, the time is going. Yeah, that's huh? true. It's true. Even when you are sitting there, you thought I'll prophesy you the same. Mm. Huh? That's true. And uh, here I'm hearing the issue of business, you see, that nothing is happening. L look at that man, look at him. You are free. My wife? Yes. She's at home. Uh, you need to pray against the spirit of lust. Yeah, it's true. Huh? Yeah, it's true. What is true? Praying against the spirit of lust. Because you, you look around. A month. Huh? A month. Yeah. You are sitting there, you look around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Huh? So God loves you. I must pray for you. You stop this thing. Because this thing is really confusing you. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And it will make you to fight with this woman, this lady. Mm. The lady you marry. You understand? Yeah. Huh? Go back. Hold your chest. And this spirit, when I point at you, I found that it's in the family now. You understand? Uh, because I'm seeing issues of alcohol here. It's a family. That if you don't drink, you have a spirit of lust. You understand? So you, yeah, is a spirit of lust only. So you don't drink? I attain. Eh? Attain. That's why you have a spirit of lust. So you are free. Thank you. Because I heard a story. This is a big story that I'm seeing before you come here. This is a big story that I'm seeing. Uh, where's your, your house, Mama? In the Appington. Huh? In the Appington. So I believe God will protect your house. You hear me? Amen. Uh, will protect your house. Amen. Uh, there are many people who are looking at you, want to get things from you. And you are aware now that the people, they don't love you. They love what you have. Amen. And, uh, and God will protect you. Amen. You understand? Now you are starting to have pain in your back here. Mm. Huh? Yes. Yeah, because they are trying to attack. Come here. Stop there. In Jesus' name. You, leave that stomach. Leave this stomach. Leave this stomach of mama. Leave mama. Live it in the name of Jesus. Live it. Live it in the name of Jesus. Live it. Your spirit. Who came with this, Mama? It's you. So you know, did she tell you what I'm talking about? I know about it. What is it that you know? That people don't love her. They love her things. Love to get things from her. Yes. So and I, when I tell her, it's like, I want to choose people You want to for choose her. for her? Yes. Yeah, because I'm hearing that you, there's someone who's advising her. You're doing very well. Yes. I wish she can listen to you. Yes. Uh, Mama, this is, me, I think this is a good friend, this, this woman. Your friend, 
He's a sister or a to sister. me. We've been friends for a long time. Sorry. But you're a friend. You're yes. not born by that mama. Yes, yes, eh? yes. Yeah, yes, 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 a friend. Yes, yes, eh? My sister, you must listen to this woman. You understand? Amen. You, you love, you love people so much, but they pay you with bad, bad, mm. all the time. Mm. And they, on the other side, there's no right friend here. Mm. This is a friend. Amen. This woman, she's a friend for you. Amen. This woman. Sure. You want to run athletic? Huh? This is a good friend. Mom, are you hearing that? This is a good friend. <laughs> huh, Mama? Mm. You hear? Yeah. Because it's like whatever she hears from God, she tells you. Amen. But you, you don't listen. This woman, she tells you many things. This woman. This woman tells you many things. Can you see aeroplane? She's flying now for you. She, wa she wanted to run athletics for you. You can be killed by the people you are helping. Yeah, they are friends. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, my name is Pilar de Kuno. I stay in Apinten in Northern Cape. Today during the service, the Apostle located you and you ministered upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Uh, he was saying people, they don't love me, they love my things. And he's telling the truth because everyone who wants to be around me doesn't want my spiritual mother in in front is like separating us so that they can have a way. Mm. And how has this affected you? It affected me because it caused many delays in my life. Everything stands still. Things that I was supposed to get, I don't get because of those things. And how do you feel that today the Apostle located you and spoke upon your life? Uh, I feel very happy because I, it was my prayer. So for God to, to help me to, uh, so that I can know who wants my things, who wants me, so that I can differentiate. Must that give me that spirit of discernment to know what is happening, uh, people around me. When people look at you, they think all is well. You, you understand? That's right. But, but you, you are, you are struggling a lot. That's true. Uh, That's true. You are struggling a lot. I see you struggling in front of me. True. Uh, and who is David? That's my son, eh? firstborn. It's a son, eh? Yes. Because I see that this case will flow to generation. I need to pray for you. Amen. You need to Amen. stop this thing. Eh? Amen. And Amen. God will fight for you. Amen. 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 I'll pray for you. Come. Uh, you are free. Uh. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, my name is William. I come from Midrand. Today during the service, the apostle located you and he spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Uh, the apostle said, uh, when people look at me, uh, my life is, uh, I'm struggling because there is a case that uh, the enemy wants it to flow to my children, my family. Yeah, well, I, I've, I've seen my life changing from better to, to worse. And definitely there must be a waking of a different spirit over my life. Yeah. And how has this affected you? Yeah, well, it affected many things. Business, um, financial life, any aspect of my life has been affected. You understand? Because you are not able to aff afford any, most of the things. Uh, Business-wise, you are not able to generate money in business here, yeah, so it has impacted me. And how do you feel that today the Apostle located you and ministered upon your life regarding this issue? I'm, I'm, bl I'm blessed to know that today I'm free, Amen. and I believe that I'll see the hand of the Lord continue to be manifested in my life. Amen. Amen. And how would you encourage somebody who's watching this? Most definitely, I'll encourage everyone all over the world uh, that if they need their lives to be changed, they must visit 
Charis Missionary Church under the leadership of uh, Apostle J.B. Magadanisa and Mama. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Look, look here, my sister. Life has not come. You are a very beautiful woman. Yes. Eh? Yes. But can you see? Do you have three children? Yes. Eh? Yes. Can you see this issue that is happening around you? Yes. Where they gave you a spirit. Yes. Eh? Yes. And the spirit come and sit on top of your yes. of your chest. Yes. You start to feel to breathe. Yes. To breathe. Eh? I have pain in my You've chest. You've got pains now here. Yes. Yes. My sister, this was jealousy done to you, and sometimes. You feel like you're going to fall. Yes. Huh? Yes. Because these people here, they want to kill you for nothing. I feel like I'm going to faint. Faint I'm anytime. Fall, yeah. Huh? Yes. So that's the reason why I call you. Yes. Or what will happen with your children. You understand? Yes. God loves you. I'll pray for Amen. you. Huh? Amen. Thank this you. is spirit here. Yes. This one. Don't touch it. <laughs> This is spirit. This is spirit. This is a spirit. So it's defeated in Jesus' name. <laughs> My brother, this one, God loves you, eh? You understand? I saw you somewhere where Christians they don't go. Uh, this thing happened to you a long time ago. Last time. Uh, I saw you in a wrong place. So who's attending this wrong church? Oh, it was my friend. I think it's about 20, 2014, 2015. Uh, uh, you went with him? Yes. Uh, so, but every, since then, nothing is working for you? Yes. Uh? Yes. Can you see where your problem comes from? Yes. Uh? So you were given something to use. Because this man, I see him getting water. Yes. Huh? Yes. Touch here. I want to set you free. This case you got there is broken. Amen. <clears throat> so you say you can, no one gave you prophecy. Huh? Yes. I'm hearing that you said there's nobody has given you prophecy, one prophecy. Ah, no, I've been given. I'm in Rustenburg with uh, Prophet Koron. Eh? I'm in Rustenburg with Prophet Koron. So if you are with a prophet, <clears throat> Koron, this man is, is the one who's going to support the church. This man. It's a, it's a businessman. Did you tell him that you are trying to do business? Yes. Eh? You told him yes. that you are trying to do business. Yes. But things are not going well. Yes. Because of what you did with your friend, you went to these people. They gave you a wrong thing. Yes. You understand? Yes. Uh, uh, that's why you can't pray, even now. In a church, your prayer life is down. Yeah, these days, uh, in my prayer life is, is a it's, bit down. It's very down. Yes. But I want to tell you, as you are living here, God is going to honor you. Amen. You'll be supporting the church. Please.